What's going on guys, it's Swim here, and in today's Warframe video, we are going to have a look at a popular Kuva weapon, the Kuva Comb. In this video, we are going to have a look at everything that this weapon has to offer, and then I will be testing this weapon out in both the Simulacrum and Steel Path. Before we get into it though, if you did enjoy this video, then please help me out by liking the video, sharing it around with your friends, and subscribe, as I do post a wide variety of videos every week. With that being said, let's get straight into it. The Kuva Comb is an upgraded version of the Comb shotgun that is insanely strong. Looking at the stats of this weapon, the Kuva Comb is an automatic shotgun with a max magazine capacity of 209 shells and has a 2 second reload speed. The Kuva Comb also has a base critical chance of 19%, while the critical multiplier is at 2.3 times. The status chance is also a massive 90% and the weapon's primary damage output is Slash, which with the new status rework temporarily ignores armor and causes the enemy's hit to bleed. Since this is also a Kuva weapon, I chose Electricity as my bonus element but you can choose any other element that you want the first build we have is a viral and hunter munitions setup starting off we have galvanized hell for that plus 110 percent multi-shot and on kill plus 30 percent multi-shot for 20 seconds moving on we are also using hunter munitions for a 30 percent chance to apply slash on critical hits we then have galvanized savvy for the 80 percent status chance and on kill plus 40 percent direct damage per status type affecting the target we also have Toxic Barrage for the 60% Toxin and 60% Status Chance. We also have Critical Deacceleration for a 200% Critical Chance and a negative 20% Fire Rate. We're also using Primed Ravage for the 110% Critical Damage. Next up is Chilling Reload for the 60% Cold and 40% Reload Speed. The last mod we're using is Primed Point Blank for the 165% Flat Damage. When it comes to the Arcane, I chose R5 Primary Merciless. This Arcane procs on kills, giving us an extra 30% damage that stacks up to 12 times. If you wanted to, you could swap out Primary Merciless for either Primary Deadhead or Shotgun Vendetta, but I will be using Merciless for the bonus reload speed. On the left hand side, we have a 57% critical chance and a 4.8 times crit multiplier with a 216% status chance. We are also dealing mainly viral damage, which does times 1.5 damage to the Oricon faction and increases damage done to health up to 325%. The last build I have for you is a cold and corrosive combo. Starting off, we have Galvanized Hell for that plus 110% multi shot and on kill plus 30% multi shot for 20 seconds. Moving on, we are using Primed Charged Shell for the 165% electricity. We then have Galvanized Savvy for the 80% status chance and on kill plus 40% direct damage per status type affecting the target. We also have Toxic Barrage for the 60% Toxin and 60% status chance. We also have Critical Deacceleration for a 200% critical chance and a negative 20% fire rate. We are also using Primed Ravage for the 110% critical damage. Next Next up is Frigid Blast for the 60% cold and 60% status chance. The last mod we are using is Primed Point Blank for the 165% flat damage. We are using R5 Primary Merciless again for the extra 30% damage that stacks up to 12 times. Over on the left hand side we have a 57% critical chance and a 4.8 times crit multiplier with a 270% status chance. This time we are dealing mainly corrosive and cold damage. Corrosive does times 1.5 damage to the Grenier faction and temporarily removes up to 80% of the target's armor value. Cold causes enemies to have slower movement and can freeze enemies in place for 3 seconds. With that out of the way, let's head on over to the Simulacrum. We are now in the Simulacrum and we are going to be testing both of these builds on level 160 Steel Path Modified Corrupted Heavy Gunners. I will be testing both builds out with and without Warframe abilities to show you the minimum and maximum damage output. For now, let's focus on the Viral and Hunter Munitions build. The Kuva Comb is a fully automatic shotgun, so just aim at the enemies and hold down the trigger. The best part about this weapon is that it increases its fire rate over time, so the negative 20% fire rate from critical deacceleration isn't really a problem. This weapon is a decent upgrade to its predecessor, and with the bonus element from the Kuva Lich system, you can make some pretty good elemental combinations. I chose Electricity for the Corrosive combination, but Toxin and Heat also work really well with this weapon. We are also using Galvanized mods, so it will take some time to reach the maximum amount of damage that this build offers. Once the Galvanized mods are built up, you can see the total amount of damage that we can deal. Just have a look at this DPS output. 
Here is some footage of the build in action with a few Warframes that synergize well with this build. Now let's move on to the last build. We are versing the same level 160 Steel Path Modified Corrupted Heavy Gunners. This time we are focusing on the last build, which is a corrosive and cold build. When it comes to arcanes for this weapon, primary Merciless and primary Deadhead do work, but I would suggest that you run Shotgun Vendetta if you have it. If you get a kill within five meters of a target using this arcane, you will gain 180% multi-shot. This arcane would have boosted the damage even further with these builds, but unfortunately I do not own a high enough rank of this arcane, so I went with primary merciless. We're also using galvanized mods once again, so it will take some time to reach the maximum amount of damage that this build offers. You definitely need to try this build out, just have a look at this damage. Here is some footage of the build in action with a few warframes that synergize well with this build. Now that the testing is out of the way, let's head on over to a Steel Path mission to see how this weapon performs. We are now in the void on Mott, Steel Path of course, and let's see what this weapon is capable of. Overall, I think that the Kuva Comb is an incredible weapon that outclasses most shotguns in the game. The Kuva Comb could be improved in a couple of ways, but I think that what we got is really powerful. If this weapon had an alternate fire, it would be amazing, but the Comb is already a powerhouse, so it doesn't need one. The ammo conservation can be a bit of a problem with this weapon, because it does ramp up its fire rate, but there are plenty of ways to deal with that. With the main issues aside, this weapon can still tackle early game and basic steel path content. And if we were talking about Rivens, then I would suggest to try to roll for either damage, multi-shot, critical damage, or fire rate. Let's see how this weapon performs against an Acolyte. This time it is Malice. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you all have enjoyed. Please let me know down below what you think of the Kuva Comb overall. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then please consider liking the video, sharing it around, and also subscribe to the channel, as I do post a wide variety of content every week. If there's anything I can improve on, then please let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Swim, guys. Later.